I am the master of my fate. I am the master of my soul. From William Ernest Henley in his poem Invictus. Those are the last two lines. I'm going to take a few minutes here and discuss what I believe those two lines mean for people who want to overcome adversity. Coming up next. Be sure to subscribe below the link, you know, that little red button that says subscribe on it. And be sure to click on the bell, make it ring-a-ding-ding, so, you so you'll know when the next upload is going to take place, get a notification. And if you're already into my community, thank you so much for blessing me. William Ernest Henley, again in his poem, Invictus, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Which means to me that whenever we have downs in life, we must turn it around to have the ups to live. The disappointments that comes to us, we must try to turn that around and find some happiness to be able to live in life. We must survive the valleys to be able to thrive on the mountaintop. We must use failure as an experience to be able to be successful throughout our lifetime. When life kicks you in the teeth, roll with the punches and pull yourself up by the bootstraps. And I don't mean just get up, get up fast. What's the difference between losing and winning? Or we could say failure and success. It's not potential. We all have potential. Think about the people who we read have what's called the silver spoon, born with a silver spoon in their mouth. They have everything given to them. And then somehow, somewhere, for some reason, we read or we see on the news or whatnot that they have screwed up somewhere and maybe lost some of their inheritance or have lost some of their good standings. So it's not potential. We all have that. It's not even in our DNA. But here's what makes the difference. People that face losing versus winning, failure versus success, have persevered through the challenge. It's easy to sit back and do nothing. Put your hand out. Expect everything to be given to you. You know, some people are like that. They think the world owes them everything when the world owes them nothing. My good friend Bob Brum, he wrote a book that just came out, and he said, Life don't owe you nothing. A reality check to achieve greatness. Go check out Bob's book. If you never fail... You never know what it really means to win or succeed. If everything is always so easy that it's not worth even going after sometimes. Too many people are afraid to take a chance. They have the what if syndrome. What if it doesn't work? What if I fail? What if, what if, oh, just what if, you know? So, hey, to me, stay on your what if bus if you want to. Don't rock the boat of life. Stay in your comfort zone, but don't come crying when things haven't changed for the better for you. It takes perseverance for people to take a chance, to be able to improve their life, to improve their family life, to improve their situations, to be able to have a better life for everything. We all go through depressions. We all have a low self-esteem. We all sometimes value life at our lowest point because of failure and everything. But don't hang in there long. Get on up, get out, persevere, like we're talking about here, to be able to change and make things better. When the next opportunity comes to you that has been an uh, adversity, a challenge, difficulty, a problem, uh, toughness, then persevere through that. Again, you're going, to, you're going to find out how much you really want to do something. You're going to find some motivation that's going to help you get through those times. You're going to be able to dig deep within, find the inspiration you need from within yourself or use the inspiration of your family or whatever you want to do. 
your dog if you want to. Find something that's going to help you persevere through all these times to make life better for you. Be sure to subscribe below. Don't forget, now don't be shy. Go ahead and subscribe and do something today, tomorrow, something next week that's going to help you persevere past your paralysis.